Finally, it's lunchtime and I can get away from the boring teacher talking. That sounds like my teacher, Mr. Davis. Oh wait, hang on, it's probably just Professor Frankenstein doing another random experiment. I made it! Oh great, I knew it. Wait, what is it now? A book transporter? I'll only be surprised if it's a history homework helper. Well, if you join as my apprentice, I can make you one someday. All in good time. Come on, follow me. You'll see it in a minute. Wait till you see it. It's a miracle. Really? That's only the first interesting thing I've heard in days. I assure you, it's not fake. Can I go near it? As long as you don't touch that red button. Why not? Um, uh, well, it might self-destruct. Um, okie dokie. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, John, can you join me for a basketball match on Thursday? If it rains, maybe Friday lunchtime would be good as well. Alright. What are you guys doing here? Um, well, the professor... But that's not an explanation. Greetings, John. What are you doing? I thought your class was playing football. Uh, oh, yeah, um... Uh, I don't have a hat. Too bad, too bad. Well, have a good day. This side of the school before? I wonder what's in this secret room. I never was. No, you stop. Let me explain. I never was in the basement. My twin brother was. I am the real Professor Frankenstein. My evil twin brother stole my disintegrator and locked me in here. He's trying to slowly make the school crumble. He's starting small by making people disappear. 
He's already started. He made my friend Nigel vanish before my eyes. I thought we had more time. We need to take action now. I'll do anything to find Nigel. So how do we make that machine self-destruct? Good point. I know the combination to make it disappear, but it would have changed the password by now. But I'm pretty sure if we can look at the machine closely, we can find some clues. There's no point waiting, is there? Let's go. Well, that was easy. Where is he? Who cares? The machine is here. Let's have a look. I don't see any clues there. Me neither. Hey, what's the thing in the finals over there? Let me take a look. Ooh, there's a large Y on the back. That's the first letter. And here in the front, it says, under a flower pot where a school of children play. Any ideas? It must be the playground. Let's go check. It must be here. Here it is. Hmm, a V. And here it says, squeeze between the chair of Mr. Smith's room. Quick, let's go. The chair. Ah, oh, it's here. It's an I. Oh, it's a riddle this time. The last letter is the fifth letter of the sixth letter answer. But to know the answer, first solve this riddle. Who has four feet when they're young, two feet as an adult, and three feet when old? I don't know. Me? You're partly right, partly wrong. It's us people. When we're small, we crawl. When we're at adult age, we walk. And when we're old, we have a cane. The fifth letter in people. It's L. E, V, I, and L. The password is evil. Blimey, it is. Now let's rush down to the basement before it's too late. Let's get this done. Yeah. E V I L. Enter. Wow. Wow. Wait, if this machine can make people disappear and reappear, then let's make the evil professor disappear. Then we need to find the fake professor first. Hold on, boys. Neither I is no way to solve a problem. Okay, but we still need to find the professor before he makes another machine. Hey, look, this is a letter. What does the letter say? It's addressed to you. The guessing game might be over, but the game between us has only just begun. You may know my name, but if I'm not around, you can make me disappear. Your brother. P.S. Don't worry, I'll be back. Action. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Oops. Hold the moon pole straight. Hold the moon pole straight. We're rolling. Quiet on set. Hold the moon pole straight. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, yeah. Where is he? Well, the, the who cares? Action.